Hey, what's up? This is Blind Guy doing stuff, and I uh, hope everybody's having a great day and had a great weekend. Uh, it's December, cold out there. Um, so today, a little quick update on some news going on. Uh, the big thing today I want to talk about was the Electoral College vote today, and that is going on all around the country and all the different state capitals. They're putting together the Electoral College. And what the Electoral College is, is it's a... a a body that doesn't meet all in one place, it meets all around in the different state capitals. And each state gets to send as many electors, like let's say Washington has nine people in the House of Representatives. They get to send nine plus two electors to go to the state houses and cast their vote for the president. And it's winner take all for the electors. So Hillary Clinton Clinton won Washington State, so the electors are expected that they all vote for Hillary Clinton. Now, they don't have to. And in fact, today it's very controversial because Washington State's electors are not going to be voting for Hillary Clinton. Clinton, They're going to be voting for a less radical Republican to try to sway the vote away from Donald Trump. And there was one elector, Robert T. Saxatiacum, I always have trouble saying his name, who who he said months ago that he wasn't going to vote for HRC. He wasn't going to vote for Hillary just because she was Hillary and didn't have anything to do with Trump. So that's going on. All around the country, the Democrats are trying to persuade a lot of minority electors not to vote for Trump because they really think they still have a chance to like a last-ditch effort to keep him out of being president, which I don't think is going to happen. I think Trump will be the next president. Even though he lost the popular vote. There was just a, a story out today saying Hillary Clinton lost the electoral vote or won the electoral vote by 2.86 million votes. Now that's a lot of votes. And Donald Trump won the electoral college but in Michigan he only won by 10,000 votes and in Detroit there's a bunch of ballots that never even got open. 75,000 ballots that weren't even open. Provisional ballots. I'm going to do a video to talk about this but there's a lot of cross check interstate cross-checking, kicking people off rolls going on with the election. So the Republicans basically <clears throat> stole the election through a lot of voter suppression. I mean, Russia did have something to do with it, I guess, because of the hacking and sending out all of HRC's emails, but it was a combination between a whole bunch of things. And HRC was not a good candidate. Let's not forget that, too. So we can't... Well, anyway, let's back to the Electoral College. So the Electoral College after today will vote and then Donald Trump will be officially the president-elect. Now where did the Electoral College come from and what should we do about it? Should we keep it or get rid of it? So the Electoral College came out of the founding of our country and it was one of these things like so many other things in our constitution in our country that one of the primary purposes of it was to keep the institution of slavery alive. So it protected now this sounds real good when you just say it, but when you know why it was done, then it's, it's, it's not good. So it was to protect the smaller states, the ones with the less population, because in the Constitution, remember, even though a state like Virginia had a large population, if you added in all the, it added in all the um, imprisoned Africans, but it took three, it was three-fifths, an African-American slave was three-fifths of a person. So it so the population in Massachusetts was way bigger than the one in Virginia, just because they wouldn't, because they only counted white men landowners in Virginia. So they wanted to, the people wanted to protect Virginia from the will of states like Massachusetts and New York. And this is a big deal because they believe that Massachusetts and New York, if given the power, if they became one country, would get rid of slavery, and they probably would. They probably were right. And so they put that in there to sort of protect the smaller states, the southern states, from those large states to institutionalize slavery. Now they will say, and today it kind of makes sense, oh well it take, it, it lets the people in Kansas know that they have a, a say in how the country is run, that we have the Electoral College. So today it still serves a purpose. Well yeah, sort of, but it's one, it's, one, it's one of these things where if it's founded on something negative, if it has bad intentions to begin with, then that just outweighs all the good intentions. So 
the electoral college needs to be changed or gotten rid of it is in the 12th amendment they, they changed it there was a little controversy in the 1800s between a tie there was a tie between Jefferson and his vice president I think his vice presidential candidate and it got kicked to the house of representatives it's a whole big complicated thing but then there was like a lot of double dealing and backroom dealing that went on in the house and that was sort of why they said they wanted to get rid of the electoral college to kind of get rid of all that so that was and so they changed it and then they put it they changed it by doing the 12th amendment amendment that amended the constitution and so it's there in the constitution so i really think it's going to be very difficult to get rid of the 12th amendment in the electoral college especially seeing as it protects a lot of the states that will be voting on it because it a constitutional amendment has to go through the Senate, it has to go through all the states, and it's just not, it's not going to happen. The 12th Amendment is here to stay. So what what do we need to do? Well, we just need to work harder. If you're going to overcome the Electoral College issue, you just need to work harder. And I think another thing that would help us out would be to get a centralized, a more centralized voting system. Not, not where it's like sending all the votes to Washington, D.C. at the end of the night, but let's just do it all the same okay you have these procedures a b and c and then in alabama they do a b and c and hawaii they do a b and c and alaska they do a b and c it's just kind of all done the same and that way you get some regularity through the election and make sure the election results are just a little bit better and you get rid of all these voter id laws and all these voter um, suppression laws i mean you should be able to show up at the at the place where you vote with a bill, a couple bills, just like you're going to get a library card or something else. Just like you were going to get health care, you can show up with a bill and a couple other things. Well, you, you do need an ID, but you, you should be able to show up to vote. It shouldn't be that hard. And if you're going to charge people ID, then you, everybody should get a free ID. If you're going to make people have ID to vote, then you should be able to go up there and get an ID. Like here in Washington State, you want an ID, you, just right off the bat, you need three pieces of previous identification to get your state issued ID for some people that is impossible and it is impossible if you're watching this and you don't think it's impossible then you know leave it in the comment and I got a challenge for you and we'll, we'll just see how good you do going to get your three IDs three forms of identification to get your state issued ID plus you gotta pay fifty to a hundred dollars to get one so back to what we were talking about the electoral college is an outdated system we don't need it now uh, so a lot of the smaller states have a say that's why and that's another we have the Senate can protect the smaller states and it was found it was an institution of slavery so let's get rid of the electoral college unfortunately I think Donald Trump will be president so we're gonna have to just get used to it I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Hit subscribe if you found this interesting. I am the blind guy doing stuff. And uh, have a good day. Studio mode. Stop recording button.